Hello, my name is Burger Brush, and today we're going over the basics of the Labyrinth. To begin with the basics of the game, when you create a new character, you have six different characters to choose from. Each character has three different descendants to choose from, and each ascendancy is like a promotion in different ways. I'm leaving out Cyan because it's a little bit too complicated to talk about for me right now. If we, for example, look at my character, who is a duelist, I have chosen the Slayer Ascendancy. Each labyrinth that you do will gain you two skill points in the Ascendancy skill tree. I have chosen Headsman, Bane of Legends, Endless Hunger, and Brutal Fervor. That's two each per big one, because there are four different labyrinths. In each form of these labyrinths, you need to complete a set of trials in order to even enter the labyrinth to begin with. In the normal labyrinth as we call it, the first one you need to complete six different trials. The second labyrinth you need to complete three. And the third labyrinth you need to complete three more. And then in the last lab, as we call Uber Lab, you need to complete six trials. Most of these trials can be found within the acts throughout the game. Here's a picture of Act 3 and where three of the trials are. The last six trials for the Uber Lab can only be found randomly throughout mapping when you get to endgame after Act 10 Kitaba. Here you can see a little bit of footage of me doing a trial in Act 1 in the lower prison. I will also link below to the Path of Excel Viki, which contains all the information about where you can find these trials and what you need for which lab. Once you finish all the trials for a labyrinth, you go to Sarn Encampment in Act 3, you click on this hidden door and then you enter the Spartans Plaza. Once you're inside the Spartans Plaza, you can then take the waypoint and you can just go here through the waypoint. And then you walk up to the labyrinth activation device and you activate the labyrinth that you want to start with. For example, normal labyrinth if it is your first lab that you're doing. Now, navigating through the labyrinth can be a little bit trickier when you're new. I will link down below a very useful website that a lot of people use for doing labyrinths and uh, you just have to navigate your way through the whole labyrinth until you get to a boss called Itsaro. Once you get to Itsaro, you will have to kill him the first time and a second time and a third time before your labyrinth is actually finished. I now have made it to the Spines Trial pretty quickly since this is normal labyrinth and, now we'll, and I will now enter the room with Itsaro. So you beat him once and then you navigate through the labyrinth, beat him twice, navigate through the labyrinth, and beat him a third time until you can finally ascend and get your ascendancy skill points. Now, once you get to the third Itzara fight, you beat him a final time, you can then pick up these treasure keys and use on these different treasure boxes. Um, different treasure boxes can yield different forms of loot and everything, so we just got some orbs here, which is very nice. And the most important thing that you do before you leave, you must do this before you leave, is that you must click the Altar of Ascendancy. Because that way it ensures you that you will get your skill points. If it is your first time you do this and you're doing the normal labyrinth, you will then also get to choose between all the three different ascendancies. Choose the one you want and then you shall have two different skill points that you can put in your ascendancy skill tree. You can also use the Divine Font in order to enchant uh, one of your items. Uh, the normal labyrinth gives gloves, the second one gives boots, the third one gives up to helmets as well, and Uber Lab, Uber Lab gives all four, but the best version of them. And the Uber Lab one is very, very good to use on helmets because you can potentially get something really good on helmets, like for example, secondary projectile to uh, tornado shot for example is worth a lot of money so keep in mind to use those i use some of my gloves and i get trigger wood of light when you take a critical strike there you have it once you have done your normal lab you continue throughout the acts and you do your trials for the cruel labyrinth the merciless labyrinth and you finish those labyrinths as well and you get your ascendancy skill points 
and then when you get to the end game and you start mapping, you will randomly find different forms of trials inside your maps. You need to finish those. Once you have all those acquired, you can then open the Uber Lab or the Eternal Labyrinth. Every time you do the Eternal Owl Labyrinth, it's going to cost you one Offering of the Goddess though, and you can find these within all the trials that you do within maps. Thank you very much for watching this video, and remember to go check out my Twitch channel over at twitch.tv slash burgerbrush. If you want to check out more of my YouTube content, I have a wide variety of different highlights and Path of Exile related videos. So thank you very much, and I'll see you around.